Now, uh, I'm the exercise guy, so I'm going to give everybody a little break. And let's get everybody to stand up here. Get a little bit of moving going on. Yeah, let's lift those legs, maybe stretch the arms. There we go. A couple times, maybe sit back down. Stand back up. There you go. Get another one going. Good. And now you can sit back down. Great. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I, uh, why I asked you to do that. Well, part of my job tonight is to talk about exercise as medicine and how movement can contribute to your health. And just that little thing that we just did there broke up your sedentary behavior, and it has important effects. It removed a little bit of glucose from your blood. It took out some fats. It probably stabilized your blood sugar and your blood pressure. And uh, it probably contributed to your mental health, which is also good now. See, there's irrefutable evidence that has been accumulating over the last 20 years that shows that when we accumulate physical activity and, and reduce our sedentary behavior, that it reduces the risk of most chronic diseases by anywhere from 25 to 50%. And that moving is, is something that contributes to our health in every way. Now, I'm, I'm that guy. I'm the guy that likes exercise. And that's me on my bike in PEI. And, and I got to say that being on my bike is one of the things that fills me with energy and with vigor, and, and I love it. And it's the passion that I bring to research and sharing this message with healthcare providers that, I, that I'm going to share with you tonight. But I got to say that I wasn't always like that. See, when I was a kid, I was a little overweight, and I was that kid in grade 8 that still hears in that school assembly, who rolled that kid to school? And I got into exercise to change my physical health, so much so that I went off to university to learn a lot more about it. And as I learned more about it, the more I figured out is that physical activity regulates every system of our body, from our brain to our digestive system, everything. Because historically, for thousands of years, we have moved a lot in order to feed this big brain of ours. And the absence of movement creates a lot of problems. So much so that now, even in today's society, we've pretty much engineered physical activity out of everything that we do, partly in the name of innovation. And this is a problem because we're paying for this convenience with our health because it robs us of our health. And we're actually going to be the first generation in history that likely will not live longer than the generation before us, mostly because of this physical inactivity. <laughs> See, there's computers that permeate everything that we do, and we've gotten really good at economizing on physical activity in just about every way. And with, you know, processed food at every corner, it's created this imbalance or dis-ease in our physiology that's creating all kinds of healthcare problems. And so why is this important? Well, because whatever's important to you, whether it's your work, your family, your friends, your kids, your hobbies, travel, whatever is important to you kind of can go away when you don't have your health. But you have the, the power to change it by choosing physical activity. And so is exercise the best medicine? Well, in my opinion, it is. And there's lots of really good evidence that shows that your fitness level is actually one of the best predictors of how long you live, how well you live, and how much you'll live your, your life with quality. And so... Getting physical activity is one of the best things that you can do and have the power to change your own health. Did you know that one hour a day of watching TV is the equivalent health risk of smoking two cigarettes? So imagine if you got a little bit more physical activity, maybe played a little bit more with your friends or your kids, or even got a little exercise in whatever way that you can fit it in. Well, imagine what that would feel like. And that's what my vision for healthcare is, where our healthcare system has physical activity and exercise as an integral part of health across the continuum, in whatever way it can be delivered by healthcare providers. And the other part of the objective of exercise as medicine is to have exercise professionals such as myself and kinesiologists and other um, physical medicine specialists to help in this supporting you in that journey. Because just about every paper I've read shows that promotion of physical activity and exercise therapy is actually cost effective and can save our healthcare system millions of dollars, if not more. So what if, imagine a situation where your healthcare provider could help you on the right step towards a physical activity plan. And you had places to go at any time of the year that could help you to be active. 
and you had exercise professionals to support you and your individual needs, whether or not you have a chronic disease or are trying to get going to prevent chronic disease from wherever you are to wherever you're going. So maybe this could be the situation. But then some of you are probably sitting there thinking, well, I don't want to go to a gym, and that's okay. You can choose physical activity in any way that you want, because we all have choices, and, and we all have a story. So I wanted to finish this with a little bit of story of my own, of how physical activity has also affected my life. See, there's my dad at age 55. He's pretty fit and active. And, uh, and as he went into retirement, like most people, he enjoyed a little bit more food and a little bit more, you know, beverage and, and traveled and enjoyed his life. But then at 65, he had a major scare, severe coronary heart disease. And his brother died at almost the exact same time. And so I had a talk with my dad, and I said, Dad, I want you to be around in the future, to be with my kids, and to read them stories, and play with them. And so your health is important. And so I said, let's get back to, to moving more, and maybe exercise is the way to help address this problem. And so he did. He got right back into baseball and, and golf. He walked the course instead of took a cart, and he hiked almost every day, and he even got into weight training. And I got 16 more years with my dad, and he got to play with my kids, which is a really amazing gift that you can give yourself and other people. So the take-home message here is that physical activity not only adds years to your life, but it can add life to your years because it can contribute to living your life the way that you want to do it and from wherever you are to a better, a better place. So that's my vision for, for uh, health care, is that we can support physical activity as part of your health care journey, and that we have places and professionals that can help you to live a better life, a better physical, mental, emotional life. So what I'd like you all to do now is, if you can, stand up and give yourself a round of applause, because the physical activity is good for you, and we all deserve it. So thank you.